I grew up in former Soviet Union, uh, which is Uzbekistan, right before the Soviet Union collapsed. I was 14, and with, with my parents, we immigrated to New York. Been here since then. To the parents, I remember they were worrying, you know, coming to a new country, not knowing the English, don't have any experience. I remember my father. For a few years, he had problem to find a job. He was shy to speak English. But me, I went to Forest Hills High School. Teenagers, within six months, I was speaking English. Everything was fine. But then, when the age hits, for everybody is different. To me, it was early because I became a father in the early age, so I became responsible. Responsible. And since then, you know, I'm, 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 I'm building, learning, winning, losing, just like everybody else. Growing up in a barbershop since early age, we're talking about since fifth grade, fourth grade. And then I told my father, I don't want to be a barber because I don't know what it was. Maybe he was pushing me too much. I don't know what it was. It's like, you know, in the early age, we don't like some kind of a fruit, but when we grow up, we love it. So that's what happened with me, I think. To open up my business, honestly, my father started all. Okay, even where we're sitting right now, in 1999, my father gave me this spot as a gift. So to me, the inspiration was to carry the legacy carry the idea that my father created to open the barbershops up, to build them up and to s sell them, to give a proposal to the barbers that work in that barbershop. It was a genius idea because in the end of the day, barbers know what's going on in the business. They know how many customers come in. So the plan worked beautifully and I'm proud that my family created so many jobs, opened barbershops, and to me it's an honor. We have customers that become more than the customers. In, 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 a, in a way we are psychiatrists. We give a lot of energy to the customers. I, sometimes I come home, I'm just frustrated. Not because I was cutting hair too much, but because I was talking. I'm not afraid of sharing my secrets. I'm not afraid of sharing my knowledge. That's what I'm here for. We're all messengers. But I always say, if my student becomes better than me, it means I was a good teacher. That's how it's supposed to be. If it's a good professor, he's supposed to have better students one day than him. It means that was the best professor. Sometimes on Sundays on my days off, I just drive throughout the States and I just find on Google nearest uh, antique mall or antique store. And to me, it's, it's, it's very honorable when customer comes in and he finds the new stuff. Oh, that stuff is new. That wasn't there. That's what I want to bring to the customers for them not to be bored in life, because sometimes life is too boring. So we spend more time at work than we spend at home. So to me, this is my second home. One of my friends says, choose the barber. Uh, they ask him a question, when are you gonna stop this? He said, until my last breath. This is, this is my everything.